Alright, what's up guys? Today we have a collection video on all my accessories. Usually on uh, Fridays I'll do pickup videos since the Supreme, Supreme Fall Winter season has started. But of course being the first week online, a lot of orders, it's it's real slow in shipping. They could even take up to September 1st to ship Supreme said, which we know from past seasons they took a month before for one season. So we're kind of used to that. So I didn't get my order on Friday. So I thought I'd just do the one collection video I haven't done. Of course being an accessory, you got a few more requests to do this. And yeah, I'm just gonna jump right into it. Supreme Beach Ball, as you can tell, I'm just gonna go through like the free gifts I got over the years and just kind of put include that into the accessories. I think, I think they're accessories even though they are free. So right here we got the Supreme Beach Ball. This was from like, I don't even know, fall, maybe spring, summer 14 or something like that. It's been a while since this one came out. Something more usable, I haven't opened it, but it is the Supreme like little packable toothbrush. I think, I forget what season this was from. They all kind of blend together, but this one was a little bit more recent. Not a big accessory here, just the Supreme uh, the incense. The incense matches. This was, I think this was 2015 when these came out. Pretty much matches that actually smelled like cinnamon, these ones. and The best um, free gift that Supreme has ever given, gave out, uh, the Supreme fortune cookie as you can tell and most people that got this in the mail it was all smashed but I still kept it and open it from this year the supreme uh, poppy seeds and yeah like this is probably like the most like easily gotten free gift ever because I got like a bunch of these and like usually free gifts are kind of hard to get with the online orders it's and a, a more usable item the supreme like little tote bag this was a while ago. this might have been 2015 too or the end of 2014 yeah that's a good little uh tote bag one of their I think cooler accessories more usable accessories going back a few years here we got the supreme post-its just post-its just the supreme box logo on the top right these also came in yellow I only had the the white ones I got two of them and I think there's around like 2015 or something like 2014 All right with these ones you know I think these might be the oldest free gift I have I think these were before the post-its I'm not sure though there's just they just like all blend together, all the free gifts. But the pens are pretty cool. They came out in a uh, black, the red, and the blue, and I was lucky enough to get them all. And the free gift, another a button, fall winter 16 RIP pin. And that also came with like a little holographic looking one too. Spring summer six, spring summer 17, we got the fuck the president graphic. They did a t-shirt with this one. And for spring, summer 18, they came out uh, the Martin Luther King buttons. There was red, I got red, and then they also came out with a black. I didn't get a black one. Misfits Supreme button. Now I don't remember, but I actually might've bought this button. I don't know if this was one was free or not, but this one came out a while ago. I, I would say this was definitely 2015. I feel like everything I'm saying is 2015, but I'm pretty sure the Misfits collaboration was 2015, but that's probably my favorite button. Supreme uh, Bruce Lee button, nothing crazy, just the Bruce Lee uh, photo they use and they put Supreme below it. And I think I actually bought these buttons. This was from the Wackies collab. I had a t-shirt from them and it was just a bunch of like old kind of like reggae music and uh, I'm not real familiar with any of the bands though, but I got the pens for some reason. I... Pink Panther pin, one, the only pin I have or still or have left. I, I never really was into pins. I probably, I probably had like four, I sold three of them. This is the only one I kept because I thought it was really cool to have the Pink Panther and the Supreme below. That's the only pin I have in my collection right there. And then kind of keeping with like the keychain pin vibe, we have a, a Supreme little padlock, just a Supreme box logo and like a brass little lock. Nothing, it's not too big and it came with like three keychains. I think it was like $25 too. Like I don't know why I bought this. I think they sent me a free one too for some reason because I remember having two and selling one, but yeah. If you need a lock, I think this is kind of good for like your backpack or something like that. Getting into the keychains, I got quite a few keychains, even though I sold a lot, I still have a lot of keychains. There's of course the new era Supreme Box logo hat. I got it in black, it also came out in red. It's got this long keychain right here. I mean, this is kind of ridiculous to put like on your keys. I think it maybe be for like your backpack or something like that. I really, I just put it on my uh, Gino Agnucci like Nike SB statue, also Lily. The, the corgi took a photo with it on top of her head, so that's you know it's the only thing I could really use it for. I mean, it's kind of obnoxious to put this like on your keychain. Then we got a, this is a newer keychain, Supreme kind of puffer box logo. It kind of floats. I always thought these were cool, like in like department stores when I go shopping with my mom when I was like young. I'd always like steal these off like all the Nautica and Tommy Hill figures. So I thought it was kind of, kind of a cool keychain, something you can use too. Maybe if you go swimming and you just need your key, you could put it on here. So that's a pretty useful keychain right there. 
All right, here's my first keychain I ever got for Supreme, the Supreme Bongo keychain. I, I think I paid like 14 bucks for this too, and I got it, and I realized how tiny it was, and I didn't really know like Supreme did like tiny shit like that. I was like, I just paid like 14 bucks for this, but still pretty cool, pretty intricate kind of design on it. Supreme on the red, and it's got a little like bongo top to it. Long little keychain. Then we got the Supreme dog kind of figurine keychain. His, uh, his collar says Supreme on it. Cool little keychain, just a little plastic rubbery. And uh, I kind of forgot, like a lot of these keychains I forgot I had. I haven't had them out in a while. And this is the Supreme pregnant lady kind of keychain, like a little rubber figurine keychain. Of course, in the middle is like this little ball. And in the ball is like a little fetus, I guess, or a little baby. And then the Supreme red box was floating around with it. One of the most obscure keychains I think they ever put out. So I definitely grabbed it just because of how weird it was. And just, it's so heavy though. I don't think anyone would ever put it on their keychain, but it's definitely a cool little display item. Here we got the little acrylic, uh, kind of like see-through Supreme box logo in the front, rose on the back. I thought this was a cool keychain with the flower. It just, it just looks like so like high definition because it just like magnifies the, the little, I guess it's like a little rose or something like that. But it's like the AR-15 M16 bottle opener. It says Supreme on the stock on the back. I got this in black, it also came in red, but how you open it is just between the handle and the clip, put it on your beer bottle and pop it. So that's a cool little keychain right there. Speaking of bottle openers and guns, we have the little like AK-47 bullet Supreme box logo on the front and then on the back, it has a little opening so you can uh, pop your beer bottles. This probably is my favorite keychain. Another useful Supreme keychain. Uh, this one's pretty recent, a little box cutter Supreme on the outside, and then it comes out with this like little, like not even like a half inch blade. You can pull it back in, button on the top, keychain. So this definitely is a useful, whoa, useful piece, especially for opening up all those Supreme packages right there. This one, of course, is a bullet, little nine millimeter looking bullet. And then at the end, it's tiny little blade comes out. Like you're not gonna do much with this, but just kind of cool piece, Supreme box look on the side. Another cool piece you can kind of make into a keychain because I don't think this came with like an actual keychain. We hook, hook something through there. It was the key utility kind of key disguised, and then you pull out a huge little well, not huge, a pretty big knife for a Supreme uh, keychain standard. So it's a little pocket knife. Another Supreme knife keychain we got. Those are kind of like all the ones I kind of like to collect now. Like only the knife keychains. You pop it open. A little butterfly knife turns into a. Uh, knife you can lock it down with the latch on the bottom pretty decent size knife you know but nothing you're not going to do much damage with any of this stuff just kind of like as opening boxes and stuff like that but yeah this is one of my favorite ones i think this is really cool it just folds over butterfly knife right there and these are kind of a clothing but i consider these kind of accessories i got the supreme two pack of no show socks i mean nothing special they just have a red supreme box right there they came in a plastic bag that's the white ones, and then these gray ones, and these are pretty expensive for like a two pack too. I think there's like 25 plus or something like that. Nothing real special, but something cool to have, I guess. Of course, they've been doing this forever. The Hanes mini box logo tees, um, three pack in white. I don't know what it is. It just feels like cool to have like this, like this bag, just like not opened. Even though I, I bought probably like three or four of these, and I have them all open, and uh, they're you know they're okay shirts, but once you once you wash them, they shrink like crazy though. Newer Hanes t-shirt, this is the, of course, the Realtree camo. This only comes in a two pack. I got these in medium and I never, I never wore them. I don't know, I don't know. I don't think I can get away with wearing Realtree. So I just kind of like kept them in the bag and they're cool, they're cool to have, but I don't know. I, I'm not really a fan of Realtree. And these are my favorite ones. Black, uh, of course, black, right? Black, medium, they fit good. They're a little long. If you sh if, like I said, if you wash them and dry them, they shrink like crazy, but the black ones, I feel like hold their shape the best for some reason. So we got the black Supreme Boxers. I think it's one of the best things they've ever invented. One of the most practical things, you know, boxers. I think it's real cool. They use their logo as the waistband. Um, it's a four pack. They're pretty affordable for a four pack too. So I like them a lot. And I, I buy them like every single uh, season, but I kept one in bag just because it's, it's so cool to just have all this shit in a bag. I don't know. Supreme black crew neck socks. They just say Supreme just on the top like that. Nothing spectacular at all. It's a four pair. I have another pack I opened. I skated in them. They didn't seem to last that long. So definitely something I don't think I'd ever buy again. 
getting into some water bottles. Now, like, Supreme does, I feel like, tons of water bottles every season. They probably only do, like, two. But, um... I'm definitely not one of those guys that wants like 10 water bottles, you know, just to have, like have to 10. Like, I don't know. I just don't see the purpose. So I sold a lot of them, but this one I think is cool. It's kind of like a sport, a little bicycle water bottle. Cat pops up, it says SUP on the side. It's not really going to scratch off like just a miniature box like it would. So I kept this one. I think it's a cool one. This is an old one. The Supreme and now Jean. I think that's how you say it. Supreme down, red big uh, canister. You got a little carbinger on the top. This one's pretty cool. I don't think I'll ever get rid of this one because I remember this one being pretty old, one of the first kind of like water bottle things I got. I think it's really useful too, so it's a cool little piece right there. Supreme Flask. This was um, something I was really happy to get. Stanley Flask made this. Not too big, but definitely you can put some major, you know, like you put liquor in here or something like that or some whiskey. You'll, you'll get a little buzz. It's pretty cool. It zips up or screws off the top. Stays on so you won't lose it. That's a good idea. And it screws back down. Definitely something that is pretty cool. Supreme Flask. It's all like metal too, of course, not flask or anything like that. Supreme Glasses. I'm pretty sure they came in a set. They're super fucking dusty, but then kind of packed away right now. Gold rim at the top. Supreme box on the sides. Smaller glasses, but um, yeah, they're pretty cool. Supreme Everlast Grips. This, of course, was... um. With their like Everlast collaboration, I think they did a jump rope too, and then of course later on they did the heavy bag, and before these they did the boxing gloves with Kid Chocolate, Peter Quillen. So these are definitely something I, I want because if you know me for a while, you know how much I love boxing. It's like I really love boxing. I watch even like every like any fight I can see, I'll watch it. I have Showtime and HBO and Amazon just for boxing pretty much. So um, definitely happy to have this one. And it's a useful piece too. Like a lot of the boxers use these to tighten their their uh, their grip strength. So you, when if you have a stronger fist when you throw something it's harder to break so cool little piece definitely something i'm happy to have with supreme unboxing supreme lantern now this is another thing that people get crazy on they have like 30 flashlights i just i just wanted one um i'm like a mag light one but this lantern one's pretty cool it's basically a flashlight i'm gonna blind you i'm sorry about that and uh, there's a button on the bottom to press it turns on and the cool thing is you can hook it and it actually turns into a Lantern, so I think it's a pretty cool accessory right there, Supreme Lantern. Continuing with the, the whole flashlight lighting up vibe, we have the Supreme Luminade, this is from this season. Solar panel, you, it just kind of energizes the battery or light that's in there. Solar pa panel, you should know what that means, I guess by now. And little straps on the top so you can hook it up somewhere. Turns around the whole side. It's got like five different settings, like higher, lighter, flashing, so it's pretty cool. Supreme Zippo from uh, the spring summer season. Yeah, spring summer, got this up in Brooklyn. It was a cool piece. I was nervous I wasn't gonna be able to get this on the airplane if I got it through. Um, Supreme, pretty much the whole logo on both sides. You open it up, got it in red. Also, I think it also came in black, I'm not sure. Then you just kind of light it, but I don't think I have any fuel in it right now. But I definitely have used it though. So I'm not one of those people that are just gonna collect them like that, but cool piece. Keychain knife, I forgot. And probably the coolest one I have actually, the Supreme Samurai knife. From last season, Samurai Blade. It's got some Japanese scripture down it, and then you got like it kind of looks like a like a samurai sword grip. Spring box it right there, only on one side. Then you got a clip on this side, or why would you? I don't know. You could clip it on your pants, I guess, but whatever. And then you got the little keychain right there. Definitely the coolest knife I have. Black lanyard, a little keychain at the bottom, and also came with a black bottle opener. But I don't know where I put the bottle opener. Just a metal basic bottle opener, but. Yeah, Supreme Lanyard, forgot to throw that in there with the keychains, got two of them, just cheap material, nothing crazy. Now, the Supreme Rizzoli book. This used to be on their site back in the day. I mean, back in the day, maybe that might have been like four, four years ago, I don't know if that's back in the day. But definitely a, one of the coolest, except if like you're into Supreme, like I feel like you should have this book or you would really enjoy it if you didn't know anything about um, the book. There's so many photos in here and there's like, it shows a lot of collection pieces and stuff like that. Like it'll show like all the shoes and all the decks and stuff. There's some, there's some of the shoes, but definitely a really cool coffee book. Even though coffee books are always pretty much useless, this book is really cool to just like look over from time to time because you'll forget stuff that's in it. Another book, Supreme David Simmons book. Sorry right there. It's a bunch of weird, cool kind of photography. Um, I like I like having like art books like that, but I definitely, I don't know. It's It was, I forget how much it was, but definitely nothing that to go crazy over. Just had a lot of crazy photography in it, just something to have, you know, collect it. It's kind of just one of those art books you collect, you really never go over because there's no text in it, but a cool book to have. 
I'll get into something I actually have a lot of accessories that were a pretty decent amount compared to other other stuff. I like collecting like the ashtrays or just like dishes and stuff like this. This of course is the smaller one of the Mendini dish, I guess you could say. This of course is the bigger dish that came out, different kind of pattern, just like those decks that Supreme released with Mendini. This of course the bigger one. And then the smaller one, just to give you a little size reference. I really like these colors pop. Newer uh, ashtray, of course, this is the Supreme Chicken Dinner graphic. I hated this graphic on a shirt, but I think on a tray, it actually looks pretty cool. Pills dish, I really like this one. This one's pretty cool. They also had like a little short sleeve shirt that had this all pattern all over it. Maybe my my favorite tray, the Mendini gun. They put this on a t-shirt, but they also released a tray with it with the other two I already showed. I just think it's really cool, the gun, just with his like kind of contrast and shapes and colors. I think it looks pretty cool. It always stands out when you put it out on, like, on the coffee table or something like that. All right, this one has some history. This was in my first Supreme pickup video ever. I don't know what year, maybe 2012, 2013 or something like that. It, it is called an ashtray, but it's kind of a weird, mellow shaped to be an ashtray but of course it's the supreme box logo so definitely a classic dish to have and super old too maybe almost six years old and from the akira collaboration we have the first one tetsuo getting you know shot up right there i just really like the i don't know i just think tray i think the ceramic trays are cool this is a long this is bigger than the supreme box logo one this is pretty big definitely a cool piece to have some artwork on it an actual plate huge plate um, this is of course, was this when Tetsuo was taking all the pills and shit like that? They're just like candy it says. Uh, of course from the Akira collaboration, you got that black and white kind of artistic vibe going on with it. Huge plate, I wasn't sure if I was going to get this because I feel like this is like expensive. But um, I'm definitely glad I got it, I don't know how I'm going to display it, I'm going to have to get one of those like, little tripod plate holders. But cool piece to have, Akira collaboration right there. And then we got the Supreme kind of like fake book, kind of like hiding spot New Testament Supreme book on the front. It kind of it looks like a real book from the side, of course. Then from that, maybe from a distance you can trick someone, but when you open it up, you realize it is all wood. It's magnetic, so you open it up like that. Red velvet all on the inside. You can just like hide stuff in there, whatever. About two inches deep or something like that. Close. Boom. There you go. You can hide whatever you want to hide in there. Supreme Testament book. Different accessory, we got a belt. One of the only Supreme belts ever I really wanted, the Rose, I think it's called the Rosebud belt. Old ass belt, maybe 2012 or something like that. Um, I just thought it was really cool because how like all like the rosing is all tooled on the inside. Cool red color on the back, it's all worn up, but it was it used to say like, how it was black and it had like a Supreme metallic font right there. But yeah, definitely my favorite belt of all time. All right, we'll continue with some like small little leather accessory goods. This is pretty cool. Um, this undercover kind of like mini bag, I guess they call it with Supreme. Of course, you got the dynamite with Supreme on the outside. This thing looks super cool on the back, white leather, and then you zip it open. It's pretty much just like a little like coin pouch, I guess you would say. On the inside, it's canvas. I mean, like you can't fit a lot in there. You could, and it's kind of huge to be like a wallet. It's kind of a little something you throw in your backpack. You put maybe paper goods in, maybe your passport. I just thought just how cool it is. Like I don't, I don't, I could never get rid of it. I just think I, I never used it. But I just think it's so cool. But most used Supreme accessory, probably the Supreme Comme des Garcons collaboration when they put out the Harold Hunter stuff. You can tell because they have like this print all over the Harold Hunter vans. And if you open it up, it's got like everything you want in a wallet. I, I always want like a coin pouch. And this is made in Spain, it says. I always want a coin pouch and you got like four little openings for your credit cards and stuff. Come Digger Sound Supreme Box logo. And it's a zipper. So definitely everything I need in a, in a wallet. Plus it looks really cool. And definitely was a more pricey item. I don't remember how much, but I know it was like two, 250 at least or something like that. But now it doesn't even matter. Back in the day, I felt like that was a lot. Two, maybe it was like 350 I don't know. I felt like it was more expensive, but definitely happy to have this wallet. 
All right, some gloves for those uh, cold, cold winter nights. The North Face by any means necessary gloves. I use these a few times in New York. Cool thing about these gloves, you can like cover your fingers with this and by anything's necessary little cover or whatever. And then you got gloves on the outside. I don't think these you can use these with your, your phone though. Maybe only these two, because these have like cloth. Maybe you'll use them with your phone. But I know it's a big thing nowadays with having a like I've touch screen enabled with gloves, but these are pretty cool too. Continuing with the by any means necessary kind of pattern they went with on the North Face um, accessories. This, of course, I got in red. It's kind of like a hard, almost like waterproof material bag. It says the North Face on the front. And it's just kind of like a little, a little around roll thing, but I use it pretty much. I don't know what it's meant for. You got some pockets in there, mesh pockets. And you got a lot of space on the bottom you can put stuff. I don't know exactly what it's for. I use it as like a, like a I carry like all my like toothpaste and deodorant and cologne and stuff when I travel. That's this is the, this bag for so my go-to. Also, I forgot on the other side you got Supreme Box logo, so got some extra branding on it. But yeah, cool piece. Use this a lot when I travel. You guessed it, uh, Supreme little uh, hip shoulder bag. What do you can call it? This is one of the smaller ones this season. This was from uh, when I went to New York. So I don't know. I just remember going to New York. And I went to Derby Street Market and literally like the next day or something and this is like all they had was the black bag So I was like, you know, fuck it. I've always wanted one. I'm just gonna get it and I got this one black It's kind of like this shiny little ribstop material It's not like one of the thicker ones that came out this year, but definitely a cool thing to put your wallet in or stuff like that <laughs> I was kind of hard to show but of course you can tell Supreme Black duffel bag in that same ribstop kind of shiny material Supreme right there is a uh, 3m and like I said, I went to Dover Street Market. I always wanted a Supreme duffel bag. I always wanted like all that, like the hip bag and stuff. I had a sh backpack back in the day. I didn't like it. It was too big for me. But I always wanted that stuff. Went to Dover Street Market. Literally all they had was the bag. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. This is the time to get it. So I got this duffel bag. Now I have a Supreme duffel bag. Supreme bling logo, box logo, towel, whatever you want to call it. Real thin towel, like barely wider than your body. Cool graphic though. I think it looks... As you can tell, I think it looks pretty cool. I basically keep it folded up. I just put like all my jewelry and watches on it. All right, this, this thing is huge to be able to show this in the whole video, but you can tell it's a red blend. It's a red beach towel, Supreme a logo across the whole thing, horizontal. One of the, I had two beach towels. I had the astronaut one. I was like, I really don't use this. I don't need it. I sold it, but I kept this one. This one's super old. They also came out with the camo one in the same kind of design. And I got the red one just because it's classic. And uh, yeah, it's just one of those classic pieces. You can always use a beach towel, but you really need to. So I sold the other one, made some money. I'm gonna get into the last. These are all, these, yeah, this, this is my whole accessory question. We'll just do like the most expensive shit at the end, I guess. The necklaces. Um, this, of course, is the Uzi one. This is a classic one. I forget when this came out, 2016 maybe. But yeah, I've had like all, I bought the necklaces like every single year. I had them all like the Supreme um, Playboy. I had the Supreme Seahorse. I sold those two. The only three I have right now are the ones I really like. I passed on the money, passed on the Black Panther or the Panther one this season. The Uzi one I thought was classic and it looks cool, real cool. Other chain I still have is the Supreme Gold Bar. Just a like regular gold bar and then on the sides it says Supreme on both sides. I think this one is just simple and it's cool. It says Supreme on the sides, gold bar. The necklaces I like are the ones that have like a strong shape. I don't like stuff that you have to like look real close to see what it is. I think that's very obvious what it is. More my like laid back one. Of course, the last one I'm wearing right now, this is a newer release. I think it was 2017. I think I got this in Brooklyn. Yeah, so it was from this spring, summer season, 2017, 2018. Well, we're in 2018, I forgot. Spring, summer 2018, Justice Necklace. I really like this one just because I like old school kind of it looks. I like the old circle with the little like cuts on the outside. Then you have like the, the weights like the justice weights and below it the only thing i don't like about it is that it actually says justice below it i think mean, that's kind of a little bit kind of i don't know about that but i think it just looks really cool it's like something to live by and like it's probably like the one i always live i always live the always wear the most just because i think it looks like the coolest i don't know it's the circle looks real cool so it's pretty much the one you'll see me wearing like 80 percent of the time i thought that was over but i forgot about the supreme director's chairs supreme on the back these are coleman chairs and they fold i think this i'm doing it right like this this fold as a chair on a youtube video for you guys no! and that's pretty much how it is not real comfortable something you could take the beach or just you know put in your office or something like that and try to get the logo in there there you go spring right there it's two little extra chairs 
Not that comfortable, not that great. Just a little, almost like lawn chairs, but. All right guys, that's the whole accessories collection video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely a lot of stuff, but definitely toned down from maybe two years ago when I just bought everything and I displayed everything. Just with moving and being older and needing money and stuff like that, I'd rather just have money or spend on other stuff I can actually use and just putting on shelf and getting dusty. So definitely with moving too, that really just like unmotivated me to collect stuff like that because I just hate packing all of it. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what your favorite accessory out of this whole video was. Honestly, I probably just, you know, the Supreme the Justice necklace, I wear a lot. I'm like on wallet, I really like. Maybe the Samurai keychain too, that's another one that stands out to me. I don't know what else I'm thinking of, but pretty much just collects, I only keep like really cool stuff from each category. There's no reason for me to have like 10 water bottles, 10 fucking flashlights. Lantern's pretty cool too, that's one of my favorite accessories. Mindini uh, gun, that's probably my favorite at my dish right now, so. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. Let me know if your favorite accessories. How did this drop go for you guys? Was it pretty easy? I feel like if you wanted something on Monday's drop, you pretty much got it. There was like no one like huge hype piece except the Madonna tee, which I see that dropping in value like crazy because I don't think anyone liked Madonna. I think they got it because they thought everyone else liked Madonna. And in reality, no one fucking liked Madonna. So we have the shirt now, but it's whatever. So that was probably the most hyped on the Madonna tee. And um, I think the most, the item I wanted the most might have been, um, it might just been that the the deck, the bedroom deck. I really wanted that to add to my collection. I thought it was cool. Thought it had a Japanese vibe to it. So definitely reminded me of those old like prints back in Japan. So that's probably like the item I wanted the most. I passed on the Motion Varsity Motion Logo Varsity jacket, four hundred dollars. Kind of plain. Didn't really want to spend that much. I spent like four hundred eighty total. So I'm happy with all the stuff I got. Um, black the Panther necklace. I just thought the shape it just looked too mushy and you couldn't really tell what it was from a distance and it was long chains like that with like a longer pendant. I don't think they look so good. Even though the ruby eye I thought was cool. So I passed on those two, but I got a lot of, I got some hats, a bag and a deck. So stay tuned for that pickup video. Hopefully next week, hopefully next Friday. Cause that'd be cool. Um, the deck I said has, has already shipped. Like I said, I appreciate you guys watching the video. I try to make it go quick. I don't want you guys have the a 30 minute video. We just want to get all the content in and not hear a bunch of me, you know, chatter about nonsense. So appreciate you guys watching the video. Um, let me know which other kind of videos you would like to see because I don't know if I don't get the pickup video, I don't know what kind of video I'm gonna do next week. So let me know in the comments below. I appreciate it. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, Mike.Kilroy, Cypher USA, third drop is coming soon. I say that every week, but uh, two of the designs are done. One more, a little more intricate, so it's taken a while, but stay tuned for that. Thank you all for the support and everything that I do, Cypher, YouTube, Instagram. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, hopefully you guys got what you wanted on Monday, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.